Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. Together we are Modeling, Modeling for, for Advantage. Advantage. So what are we up to today, John? Uh, we're going to do a funny little unboxing of... Halloween special. Halloween special. Halloween special. Because we're all about the major festivals here in Brexit land. Um, sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Brexit. Um, what is this again? Stormstrike. So this is the Stormshite. Age of Sigmar. Age of Sigmar starter box. Neither you or I have played Sigmar. No. No. Not yet. Not yet. I played Fantasy in third edition back when Rogue Trader was the game and all this. Fantasy. I mean, I've dabbled in it in and out. Dabbled. Forty K has been my primary, but yeah. Yeah. Fantasy seventh and eighth. Was that like the tail end of it? That's before the tail it went end with the end times and all that end before times. it exploded. Before it became this. this. Yeah. Anyways. So this is like the introductory kit. It's like 25 quid. I think I got it for 20 and from a third party. From, in fact, from RG Camp, my old friendly local gaming store. But Wait. I have had the Space Marine one first strike and that had some actually w w were really good introductory missions for people who had no idea how to play the game. Just core mechanics of core this mechanics. is a miniature, yeah. this is how this is an inch, uh, yeah. this is how you move things. And I thought that we could perhaps take this box and do a two idiots learn to play um, series running through those missions. Especially on a Wednesday evening. Yeah. So, so, so this this box. box to tray you get it in is actually a piece of terrain, is that correct? Yeah, I mean, a piece Mate. of terrain, that's fairly generous. That's cool. Um, anyway. But according to this then, what we're going to get in this box, You get John, loads of stuff, look. We are going to get an 80-page introduction book. Woo! 16-page core rules book, Woo! which has probably been superseded. War Scrolls, Dice, Range Ruler, a playing mat. We'll have a butchers at that. Then three sequiturs, three castigators, and one little doggy! So that's the Sigmaring stuff. And then for the spooks, we get four Glaive Wraith Stalkers and four Mermorn Banshees. What a great name. Mate, I want to scream at you. Okay. I want to be the Banshees. I want right. to, I want to, yeah, I can definitely ruin everybody's eardrums with Mate. sound effects on the videos. So that's what it's supposed to come with. So it's fairly decent for 25 quid. I think that's all right. Fair. So should we Fair start tossing the stuff yeah. out then? Go on in, have a look. These I don't know if you saw the dice from First Strike off from this. These are the shonkiest dice ever. They're really cheap looking. That's, that's Christmas cracker yeah, dice. Yeah, that's, that's like, I, I would not rely on rolling these. Well, but fortunately, to be we're fair. a couple of gamers, so we've already got a lot of dice. Right, blue then. They, these are your little ghosties. Ghosties. Ooh. So Ooh. immediately looking at these, John, and one of the reasons I wanted this kit instead of the other one is these guys have all got sculpted bases. They do indeed. And I'm quite the fan of sculpted bases at the moment. And these so are different. These are, yeah, they're the, so they're the Banshees and these are the Glaive Wraith Stalkers. Nice, mate. Uh, yeah. and they, these look very fiddly, though. I am I'm seriously worried that you've made the wrong choice. In terms of them being easy build? Uh, in terms of you being able to snap them really easy. Yes. Uh, <laughs> easy build, yeah. easy break. Easy break, certainly. But I like I like texture bases sometimes. Man, these are sweet. This guy's got a drum. And this may mean I will muck around with contrast paints. Who knows? I think you should. You think I should? You yes. think I should because everyone else has. Well... I struggle to paint with the ordinary paints. Gets the job. You, you do all right, you know. Coloured plastic though, dark blue, turquoise, cyan. So you can just that? yeah. Spooky blue, like turquoise. Spooky blue, blue. That's what that is. Nighthorn blue, we're calling that. Nighthorn blue, we're calling that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what paint's called. Yeah. Me. Um, then you get the gold dudes, which are gold. gold. So you can just. You, I'm. I'm assuming you mainly just plug these together and then fill them around the box. The we can definitely get the first one that way, can we? I don't see, see why not. Yeah. You've got to get Man, it's pretty anyway, clear so which team they're on. Man. Yeah. Blues, let's go. Look, that is that Liberator Gold, isn't it? Look at that shiny. Oh, that crossbow is mahoosive. <laughs> that is a huge crossbow. What's interesting is this is definitely a different plastic, is it not, from their standard sprees? But they've not lost any of the. Maybe. The it just doesn't feel. It doesn't quite feel right. But they've still got all the detail in there. Yeah, they look pretty crisp, so they look pretty clear. So they've got, the, I'm just looking at this um, Sigmarine now. Mm. They've got some of this stuff like I saw in the Blackstone Fortress with the easy builds where, because they don't, they fit together in two or three parts. Yes. Sometimes they connect like you push bits through other parts. Yes, like the little half Yeah, differs. and I seem to remember like 
dry fitting is a problem with things like that because they sometimes don't want to come out. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah. So they, they but are you easy need fit. the peg to fill in a bit of the other side yeah. of the model. So, so beware. Be wary. If but these models are so apart. this as I said, this kit was so cheap. If these don't work out, you can just buy the real ones, right? Mate, so are no, you are you gonna cool. you gonna play these Sigmarines then? Oh go on then. You do these Sigmarines. Right, so those are the models. But that's not bad for the price, is it? For Games Workshop, that's eight, eight, eight and seven is what, fifteen, right? That's at least one Space Marine Apothecary. One Space Marine Apothecary was probably that, and then there's yeah. a big pack of Ooh. Yoink. Oh, should we get the mat out then, John? I'm having this. All right, well, while John struggles with the mat and I'll struggle, we should have done this separately. <laughs> we always do this. Filled <laughs> with the plastic. <laughs> Come on. Warhammer Age of Sigmar gaming mats, it says. Gaming mats? I assume that this is just a printed bit of paper. It, it looks like... But even that, it's such a huge improvement on the table that you're sat on, right? Yeah, with the If you're a books. new... Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. This is literally a photograph of a board they've set up and that's not a bad size man, is it? It's longer than uh <laughs> longer than the average bit. One. Whoa, there it goes. You don't need that. That's alright, it's a decent print. I mean it's not gonna last very long, but it came in the box. And it's more plain on the other side. Feels like it's twice the size of a kill team board. Something of that order. Yeah, I think it feels yeah. like yeah, something around there. Yeah. Cool. I mean, compared to just playing it on your bare kit pitching table, or even a bit of green felt, I think that's decent. The, the folds are going to be a problem, aren't they? They're going to bug me. That was that. Looks nice. Get the thing to Plastic. play on. Then we get some books. All the books. All the cards. Ooh. Hey, John. Look at that. Not only is oh, it a ruler, it's, blue. it's bendy. Oh, mate, a bendy ruler. I'm so excited. I'm excited to have a bendy ruler. It's we get no, it's got no saw, it's got no ridges, got on, no, it. No ridges on it. Now, as we look at the world's smallest decal sheet, I assume that it? that's for the Stormcast. Hey, world's smallest decal sheet. I'm having those. You're having those. You love a few decals, don't you? Next, step. that's pretty cool. Uh, this book seems to be everything. That's it. Is that the instruction book? Everything yeah. Stormstrike. Yeah, it's got fluff at the back, tells you about the different units and a bit of background. Nice, a bit about the sacrosanct chambers, which I've heard about but never really read about. Yeah, loads of stuff. Blah 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 blah. Things more product before that. There are the missions, plans. how to paint stuff, which is really good. Mate, this is like this all is a you nice need to book, actually, actually get actually. started, and it's it's nicely produced. I am, I mean, you've just flicked through that for the first time. Same here. That is That's much right, that. nicer than I expected. Yeah, I just double check again though. There were the four other four missions in there. There were four. There's the painting telling you about the different. Yeah, it talks about glazing because it's pretty technical paints. Start playing, battle plan one surrounded yeah i mean this is this is really nicely produced this is a nice glossy a4 piece i'm really impressed with that genuinely right instructions there, instructions John. they say pretty good push it together as you push would push together here's yeah. a piece put the piece and in the, the other back. piece oh she's going to put a decal look, John, on the back <gasps> put a star there look <gasps> yeah that's cool so you get all the instructions um, you need. Look at these cards. You get these cards. Oh, this isn't a card. Oh, there's an optional on the Sequitor Prime. Sequitor Prime, is that a sergeant? That's the bird there. So she, you can, have some a, she can have a tin on her head. Unit cards, mate. Now, this is a cool thing and something I really like about Sigma. These are called war scrolls, are they? I think they are. Or whatever they're called, battle doofers, battle plans, war scrolls. Battle plans. But you get everything you need about the unit. Yeah, they also yeah. fool. It says war scroll. <laughs> oh, yeah, funny that. I'm you not here it because I'm scroll. clever. No. Uh, so you get all the stats, different little things. I like the way they've done that. I mean, I've seen it before, but uh, did they move wounds? The move wounds. Yeah, they've done it in Warcry. Have they? Except it doesn't say move wounds, it's, it's just symbols. Glyphs. And numbers. Glyphs, yeah. All the rules you need on one yeah. fantastic card. Why is this not a thing for 40k? 
doesn't matter. Because in 40k Space Marines, you have a deck of cards like that is probably the main reason. Yeah. It's still cool though. Yeah, it's still yeah, cool. Everything. Ability. Yeah. So you get the, you get the description. I mean, now, you are you getting anything that we're not getting in this box? Because I think I am. What do you mean? We get sequiturs. Slave Wraith Stalkers. Dreadblade. <sighs> yeah, what is that? There's a dude on a horse, mate. Yeah, we've got you some got that? cards for another unit that we haven't got. Miramon Banshees. Including this one's for that's the Ballista. So maybe Dreadblade they intended. Harris. And then, yeah, and that's a character. So maybe this is like giving you the indication of what you would do to pad out your force next. That's, nice. that's clever. Oh, I've it got is. a card. <laughs> yeah, I should buy the model. Unit. And again, these cards, they've got, they got nice photographs of the models on one side, oh, art wow. on the other. The production quality on this is much higher than the 40k, like No No Fear Mate. stuff. This I'm would, this really would definitely, this. if I wasn't a long in the tooth veteran of, of Games Workshop Gaming and 40k, you'd be impressed. I'd be like, oh, God, give me more. Yeah. This is quality goods, and for 25 quid, that's lured me right in. Yes. Now, I think this is the... I'm not sure, but you know, like, this first strike in No No Fear and so forth for 40k? Yeah, yeah. I think that this is the second so the version. Second no. No, it's the first tier. It's the bottom one, the cheap one. Yeah. But I think it's the second time they've done that intro box. Yes. This came out a bit more recently. Yeah. This came out this year, maybe, or late last year. It's been around for a while, but it's a different Still type a of, second, uh, of Stormcast Eternal because they're loads of different regiments, yeah. aren't they? Because originally, I think it was the the, the crazy corn yeah. Zerka dudes, and the, yeah, there was the, different baddies, and then they've gone into this doing is the Nighthawk second stuff. edition, yeah, the second Sigma. release, and I think they've got the production value, and I think it's a good idea because mm. this is where you start. This is the point of contact. This is for a lot of really good, yeah. really good. All right. Uh, I'm quite, I'm quite amazed have, to be fair. John's going to have some stills. We are going to have a crack at this um, in the not too distant future because we think these four idiot missions in here should That's teach about, us the rules and we can crack them out with on a Wednesday. Yeah, we'll certainly play at least the first one on the paper mat with the push fit model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And take it from there. I think. Sounds yeah. good, Mike. I'm looking forward to it, John. Yeah, me too, a little bit. Thank you for watching. Bye. Please remember to like, comment, share or subscribe this video. And if you are buying new games or new miniatures, please consider following our affiliate link to Whalen Games. It gives us a little bit of kickback and helps fund other projects for the channel. Thank you for watching. Mate, that is sweet. <laughs> this is good. This is a good man. This, this looks like it's some sort of special...